Well, could San Bernardino County become the 51st state? An Inland Empire real estate developer wants the county to secede from California and is asking for the issue to go to voters. And if it happened, it would affect all two plus million residents in San Bernardino County, which is the largest county by landmass in the state and mm. the country. KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is live in San Bernardino to explain all of this and has reaction to it. Tom. <laughs> Yeah, we spoke to some folks out here tonight. Pat, we'll get to that in just a second here. But the developer who wants to do this wants to call the state empire, of course, based on Inland Empire. He says the reason why San Bernardino County needs to secede is that it is being neglected and ignored. San Bernardino County has long suffered enough. Inland Empire real estate California. developer Jeff Allocation Burham making his pitch that San Bernardino County should become its own state. The state of California continues to allocate resources to the high cost areas to our detriment and in other Inland Valley communities. Burham was making this pitch to the San Bernardino County Board of Supervisors, telling them the county has been neglected, ignored, and never prioritized by the state. And he came with support from two mayors. Our future is at stake. We cannot continue to beg and crawl and squirrel count, that's what I call it, when they're getting their little nuts out of the tree, to get resources for our county. I'm in my freshman term as a as the mayor of Upland, and um, probably one of the learning curves is watching the mandates come out from Sacramento and then trying to impose those on residents and listening to the levels of frustration. We have been kind of the dumping grounds of whatever you want. We spoke with Burham about his plan to help San Bernardino County secede. Even though he knows it's a long shot, he's trying to make a point. People move out here for a quality of life, but the state decides they want to build a new prison. They pick a spot in San Bernardino County. You want to drop a bunch of a, a truckload of proleys out and you give them vouchers. It's cheaper to move here when there's businesses where they can get a job, so they dump them here. Burham also says the state doesn't prioritize infrastructure like roads, sewage, and water lines, which makes his job of building new housing extra challenging. You go outside of San Bernardino and you're like, Daniel Altamirano was born and raised in San Bernardino. He says there have been improvements here, but more needs to be done. And on seceding, it's not going to happen. It's 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 our wildest dreams, yeah, I mean. And then there's the Gibson family who lived in San Bernardino for 13 years, but left for Riverside County because they felt it offered more to their family. The key factor in San Bernardino County is just like, you know, economic uh, resources and financial, you know, situations that people are put in. Uh, that's where a lot of crime gets committed because, you know, a lot of things are not available to, you know, a lot of minorities, people that look like myself and, you know, a lot of people of Hispanic descent. At least one of the county supervisors here appeared to have an open mind about this and wants more research to be done. But even if the issue did go to voters here in San Bernardino County and they approved it, the state legislature would still have to approve it as well, as well as the U.S. Congress. So a long way to go before this could ever become a reality. We did reach out to the governor's office for comment on the story. We did not hear back. Reporting live in San Bernardino, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.